HN Clothings, the one place where you are empowered to be your own boss through sharing my knowledge of fashion with you. And in today's video, we're going to be making this beautiful dress here. This dress features an asymmetric neckline. It features an asymmetric cut at the bottom of a dress. It also features frills at the bottom of a dress. And we're going to be using crinoline. That's hot hair braid in this dress. So it's a total package it's it's something you don't want to miss so if you'd love to see how i recreated this dress please just keep on watching and please guys if you have not subscribed and you're a returning subscriber please just subscribe to this channel give me thumbs up so i know you love the kind of videos i create also thank you so much my subscribers you guys are the real mvp for coming back here over and over again to watch my videos god bless you all and without much ado let's get started so for this project we'll be needing our basic bodice pattern i have a video on how i made this basic bodice pattern if you have not seen that video please click up here so that you can understand how i drafted my own basic bodice pattern i have my tape roll i have my scissors my paper scissors I have my ruler, pencil, eraser, I have my pins, I have my armhole of my curved ruler, I have my crinoline, I have my fabric that will represent the upper part, I have also this fabric, it's just, it's just, it's pre-cut already, that will go on the lower part, and I have my lining as well. So, first off, we're going to start with our pattern so the first thing we do is we're going to trace our front bodice pattern and our back bodice pattern to another pattern paper use just stopping at the half length my own half length is 14 and half inches i'll leave half inch at the bottom for joining the lower parts of the dress to the upper part and i'll leave half inch at the shoulder seam to join the two shoulders together so uh, that will give me a total of 15 and a half inches. So I've done that here already for the front and for my back. So now we want to start manipulating our darts. We'll start with our front bodies first. Now first thing we do is this shoulder dart, we have to eliminate the shoulder dart. So how do we go about that? We have to go... I have about seven centimeters here I'm going to reduce it to I'm going to go in by two centimeters and redraw my shoulder that so this will be where my new shoulder that is so this is I'm, I want to make a dartless bodice because the kind of fabric I'm using is a stretchy fabric I don't want I want to remove all the darts on this body basically so if you're going to remove the dart first thing you do reduce the size of this dart by two centimeter inwards inwards so this dart here is shorter transfer this dart to the armhole so i'll go to my armhole and measure what i have there in cm so if i go around i have about 20 cm so half of it Okay, so I joined it to half of my armhole. I just looked for the midpoint of my armhole and draw a line there. So now, as I've drawn the line there, I'm going to close up this dart and transfer the dart to this point here. Your pattern must always lay flat. Now my pattern is laid flat. Now what I'm going to do here, because the fabric is stretchy, I'm going to roll a straight seam and cut it across that straight seam here. I'll still come back and measure the shoulder and reduce it. But now that we have this part open, we're going to put um, paper under it and retrace our arm. That 2 that I moved in by, I'm going to take that 2cm out of that place. 
here. So I'm gonna use so I'm gonna use my cuff ruler and cuff the armhole properly. So I'll redraw my armhole. Okay, all right, so we've closed the shoulder that we've transferred it to this armhole We just transferred it to this armhole Covered it up and we redrew the armhole to be straight. Remember we took out the 2cm here That side has been solved now moving on to this side. We have a dot here A dot is existent here. So we're going to take this dot out Completely we have to erase this dot the only way we can do that is take it from the side seam but when you measure this dart I have five centimeters for my dart here I can't just remove five cm because it's going to come in so so well it's not going to lay so beautiful on the body so I'll just instead of five I can remove three from this part so let me come here and remove three cm So I have removed my darts from the side seam here. I've also removed my darts on the back. So there's no darts for my front and back anymore. All the darts have been eliminated. I matched up the shoulders, I matched up the sides and everything was all fine. Because it's an asymmetric neckline, I have to draw this, I have to trace this out on a full paper. So that I'll have it on both sides. So let's quickly do that. Remember, we had to make it to a full front and a full back so that we can draw our asymmetric neckline. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our shoulder and measure three and a half inches. So I'll just measure three and a half inches on what part of my shoulder here. Then I'll go down to this other part of my armhole and stop at six inches. So from three and a half inches, it's going to stop at six inches. Now I would really cover like. So for the back. I have a tape here to cover up my zip allowance. So now I have my front and my back now let's look at this closely the upper part of the fabric is taking about 14 and a half now the lower part is from that 14 and a half to 32 remember there's still going to be guarded frill ruffles at the end of this dress so we have about 14 and a half to 32 for the length so now what we're going to do is come to this upper part here and measure our um, waistline and my waistline is 33 cm I'll divide 33 into 4 that's 8.25 so I'm going to take exactly 8.25 because this material is a stretchy material if I take anything if I put any allowance it's good there's going to be like a bulge then from there, I'm going to go 8 cm down. I'll go 8 cm down here. So from that 8 cm, I'm going to measure my hip line. I'll put my hip measurement there. 41 for my hip measurement. So if I take 41 divided into 4, I have 10.25. So I'm going to subtract one inch 
from that measurement and join all those points together. So I'll just go, I'll go to about 10 inches, so I have 10 inches here. So from that 10 inches, I'm going to curve it, I'm going to make a curve to this point. So this is what I have for the down. So we can see my front piece here, right? And these are my two back pieces. This and this. So these are all my pieces for the fabric. So so I have my back here. I'll pin it. I pinned it along the zip line here and i have the bottom for the fabric here you can see the asymmetric neckline the asymmetric cut at the bottom and you can see it at the neckline the armhole and everything so now i'm going to be closing the zip line and this is for my front so we can see the asymmetric neckline we can see it pinned by the waistline there and the cuts here so i'm going to sew this out also join the back as well then i will pin it yeah so i have sewn this both at the front and at the back i've also joined it by the shoulder seam so we can see our armhole here so i completely removed the armhole here i will just go directly under the armpit so here I took one inch this material is a stretchy fabric so I took one inch on both sides I just measured I measured and I also took one inch on both sides since it stretches remember our basic bodies pattern did not have any seam allowance so but this is a stretchy fabric so I still had to hold it in so it will fit it will hold the body tightly we are going to get to the bottom of the dress now I did not insert any zip anymore this cut will fit in without a zip so why waste a zip I tested it out and I saw it fits in without any zip so we're just going we're just going to go to the bottom of the fabric and prepare the fabric that will be going in there so I have a long strip that is about 140 inches long and I also cut my lining to be that length as well I'm gonna join this lining because it's just in pieces so I'll join it till it fits to that length and I'll attach my crinoline my horse hair braid so let me show you how I'll do that I just use a very like about 1 cm rounded to hold it in place then I gathered the top of my of my fabric so this gathering is going to go right here this is my dress
remaining hat is going to go up into this place. So I'll open the seam up and sew it there. So this one I'll still get it right into it properly. Then you pull your sleeve. I want it to just be one sleeve. So I'll just put my sleeve here. And that'll be it for this dress. So we are through guys. I have turned the neck with a bias there is no sleeve on this other side so it's just asymmetric and I also have put a sleeve on just one side so this is how the bottom of the dress looks like you see it's all neatly finished so we are going to surge round and let me turn it inside out so we see yeah so this is the back we can see the back with the sleeve yeah we can see the frill by the side and at the bottom so I just joined I eventually joined both ends of the sleeve so it's just one round sleeve I sandwiched it together here and finished up the rest down the path so I am going to show you how it looks like I am so excited for this dress guys it looks so pretty so pretty so thanks for watching if you enjoyed this tutorial if this tutorial has been helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet joined the family subscribe guys please just subscribe thanks guys and see you in my next one bye